Hey guys, well I thought I would give you a little bit of a view of what I put away already. Uh, I have back there, I don't know if you can see it, I got about seven cans of uh, skinless and boneless sardines. I like that in uh, olive oil. And they're very expensive. I mean, they're like $4.09 a can. So, there right away, just in sardines, I got $24 in sardines. Then I got about one, two, three, four, five cans of tuna. And I got the expensive stuff here, the salmon, which I spoke to you about. That Those two cans of salmon at $10. So just between that and that, that's around 50 bucks worth of food right there. You know? It's crazy. That's nothing. And how long does that last? There's $50 worth of food just there. Just between the sardines and tuna and uh, salmon. 50 bucks. And then I bought a couple of... Uh, uh, vegetables. I have to get a lot more. I have corn here, but I couldn't carry it all. I got tomato sauce for my uh, my pasta sauce that I make. I made a regular, I take regular sauce and I turn it into marinara, which I will be videotaping in the next few days. I'll show you how I make really good marinara sauce. I was really pretty surprised how good it came out, actually. Um, so I saved the recipe. Then I got some peas here and carrots. I have to get another thing of carrots, but like I said, I couldn't carry it all. The next trip I take, I'm going to be uh, buying about maybe, uh, you know, about maybe 30 or 40 more cans of uh, canned food. Uh, but as I said, this was much more full, uh, you know, weeks ago, obviously. So, uh, and other than that, I just got this, uh, I bought myself snacks. I bought Ritz crackers, whole wheat Ritz crackers. And I also got also whole wheat crackers here to snack on. And uh, I'm going to show you a gift I bought myself. Uh, I got this. Let me take it off the fridge. It's, uh, it's a digital thermometer. And uh, the reason I bought it was mostly because now that I'm baking bread, the uh, very important part of baking bread is to make sure that the uh, water that you put the yeast in is a uh, correct temperature so now I will make the bread with the correct temperature yeast if it's too hot the yeast dies if it's too cold the uh, yeast won't uh, become alive so anyway so that's what I'm gonna do um, in here I got I'll just show you quickly I don't know if you can see it's pretty dark but this is all my stuff I always like to keep two of everything you know, I like to keep two creamers. Uh, got my baking powder there. I got my, uh, let me go down if you can see it lower. I got this uh, all purpose flour I just put away. I want to get another bag of that. I got a few of these. These are really good, by the way. For those of you who uh, never saw these, these are really easy to make. They're microwavable and they're rice. So I got three different flavors of this I got chicken, and I got teriyaki, and I got whole bunch of other things. Here I got my cornmeal. Cornmeal, I got two bags of cornmeal. And then down here, well these are just flavoring things, you know, sauces and stuff that I use. They're cheap, they're like 39 cents a bag. I got like some potato flakes there uh, that stay pretty long. And down here I got a whole, whole bunch, I don't have to buy this for a while. I got more pasta than any human being could use. And uh, I also have three, this huge, huge bag of gabanza beans, which, to be honest with you people, I learned something about gabanza beans. Uh, first, if you bake them this way, you only eat a very little bit, uh, you know, they, they expand. So, use like a quarter of a cup at a time, and I make my own, uh, I make my own uh, tahina sauce. Uh, which is uh, the sauce that you see a lot, hummus, that the Middle Eastern, I should say hummus, not tahina. Tahina sauce is actually uh, made by using uh, sesame seeds, crushing up sesame seeds, which is another thing I actually forgot, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, I actually forgot to uh, buy sesame seeds. I wanted to buy sesame seeds, so i got to put that on my next shopping list. I always forget something, you know. And uh, this is my uh, little my little carousel of coffee things. It holds about 35 little cups, K-cups. 
It's my Kore coffee maker. It's my little kitchen area. And my toaster that I toast my own bread. Uh, I take the bread out that I made out of the fridge and I end up toasting it anyway. And uh, my microwave. My uh, This is a really cool thing I want to show you guys. This is the uh, bowl I use for the uh, baking of the bread. Uh, my sister gave me this actually. It's a very good bowl for baking bread, you know, the dough thing, because it's really smooth inside and uh, it has a good texture to it, so it's great for baking, for um, molding the bread and keeping it in there. And then this blue thing is my ice cream maker, which I used twice. And the only negative thing to making your own ice cream, people, is that I made it so good. And I put so much work into it. I put it in the freezer, and although it didn't come out tasting better than Hagen Dazs, of course, they have all that real good machinery, it came out good enough that I actually finished the whole pint of ice cream that I made. So I'm on a diet, and that's not very good for a diet, so I'm going to be skipping that uh, for a while. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. I got my uh, popcorn maker here, even though I use the microwave. I got another popcorn maker uh, that I have here. And these are my extra coffee things. So that's a little bit of uh, my kitchen area. Uh, a little uh, tour of my kitchen area. And uh, that's it. I'll be posting, by the way, the... Uh, I'll be posting the uh, shopping supermarket inside. Uh, I haven't put it up yet, but I did uh, videotape the whole shopping experience. I bought some popcorn. I bought some... Uh, cans of vegetables, I bought the flour, and I bought some meat. I bought uh, those uh, little uh, strips of meat, the stir-fry meats. So, you'll see a little bit of that once I get it all together and edit it. So, that'll take a little bit of time, but it should be up by tonight. Catch you guys later. Be, be, be careful, guys, and prepare for the worst. You know what I say? Prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Bye, guys.